South Florida High School sports are out here at Miami Dolphins OTA. We usually don't make it out this way, but uh, Jelani Jenkins is uh, glad to be with us, and he is a Watkins Award winner, and if you've seen our website in the last week, Jordan Cunningham, who goes to the university school right over there, was a Watkins Award winner as well, and we figured we might as well talk to somebody else and spread the good word about being a good athlete and being a good and being a good student. So, uh, Jelani, let's, let's take you back down memory lane a little bit. Uh, the Watkins Award, it, uh, it honors five African-American football players for being good students, and good football players. Uh, do you remember what it was like when you won that award? It meant a lot to me. Just to know what um, the award stands for and the people who were in front of me who got it. My guys like Myron Rowe, you know, a lot of guys who, who just really good guys, really good character guys and what they do for the community and also being uh, perfect in school and on the football field as well. It just means a lot just knowing the guys in front of me. Now, uh, the Watkins Award really wants to uh, publicize what it's like to be a good student, that you can be a good student and be, and be a good athlete. Where did your drive to succeed in the classroom come from? Um, I mean, I guess it came from my family. My family was always uh, grilling at me how important it is, to, and I grew up in that. I grew up in that environment all my life, and um, everybody went to college in my family pretty much, so that was a given um, that I was going to, you know, put it all out and also I had great friends around me and I surrounded myself with people who were like-minded and wanted to compete in the school work as well as on the field. Now Jelani went to Our Lady of Good Counsel in Only Maryland, got that right, and was one of the best football players you're coming out. I think you were the top linebacker, one of the top 10 prospects uh, overall. Did you ever feel any pressure to maybe not be a good student because a lot of times academics and athletics aren't always associated? Um, I mean it's Football, that's my dream, that's my love, you know, love for the game, but I knew I couldn't get there without the academics, so it was just as important at the end of the day, but, um, you know, I couldn't wait for after school to get going and hitting somebody. <laughs> now, uh, we have a lot of high school kids that are, that are coming to our site. We're a high school-oriented uh, website and, and uh, media outlet, so if you could stress to them how important the academics is, because even if you do get to the NFL, at some point you will not be in the NFL, what, what would you look into the camera and tell them about how important taking care of your business in the classroom is? It's everything. Uh, you know, football doesn't last forever. Um, NFL stands for not for long. And after after you're done with the league, you know, if you do make it to the league, after you're done with the league, you know, I mean, that money's not coming in anymore. You still got to have that graduate. Uh, you got to have that degree and uh, be able to work and keep going and sustain it with life. So it's very important. What about, um, what, do you have, what are your interests outside of football? Like if, as you, whatever your, your course of study were, was or what, what you were going to major or what you were majoring in in Florida. I know you still got to work on getting a degree from there, but outside of football, your academic interests were where? Uh, I majored in physiology and kinesiology and uh, basically wanted to be like a strength coach, a trainer, um, you know, work guys out. Um, be a coach in that standpoint and you know, just work with athletes, work with people who are dreams and aspirations to be in the NFL or even basketball or anything they want to do. How about just the, what it took to get to this level? Uh, not everyone gets here, only a select few do. How hard was it to make it here? I mean, it was very difficult. You know, you just got to stay diligent, never, never be complacent. You know, what I mean, it, a lot of people, a lot of times it, people around you make you want to be complacent, but you know, you just got to always stay hungry, stay ready to work. Um, never feel like you made it and always take coaching. That's all I can say. Just keep working hard. Now, uh, one of the messages at the luncheon from one of the speakers on the committee at the Watkins Award, that the luncheon we had here at Fort Lauderdale, was that to use athletes like yourself or Jordan Cunningham, who, who went to school over here and, and just won as, as role models for students that are still in school, that academics can be cool along with that athletics. Is that, a, is that something you'd be proud to take on? Absolutely. Academics is definitely fun. I mean, especially, like I said, what I did is I always surrounded my people who were like-minded, who were also getting good grades, and it became a competition. You know, I didn't like when I had four A's and a B, and he had straight A's, you know, and we always competed that way and uh, tried to get each other better through that way. What, uh, if you don't mind, uh, your, your sort of your, your, your GPA, your, your course load when you were in high school? Uh, I mean, I ended up with a 4.1 graduating, I think like a 3.9 cumulative, um, you know, but it was always important to me in high school. And ha has, has that made your life easier as a football player? Like being good in school, was it an easier transition in college? You went to the University of Florida. Has it been an easier transition here at the NFL with the Dolphins? Yeah, I mean, being a, you just learn how to study, you learn about time management, you know, you learn about prioritizing the right things, and I think uh, that definitely helped me out, just my work ethic and my study habit in high school was kept going into college and now was studying the playbook here. So, I mean, it, it makes a big difference. Yeah, I know we touched on this early on. We'll kind of wrap it up with this. I'm sure a lot of things you've been honored with I mean, your high school and collegiate career, different awards, different trophies, possible state championships. But this award, where does it, where did it fall with all the other honors you received? The Watkins. Um, it was big time. It was one, definitely top of one of the top ones. Uh, 
just just from you know the amount how how deep the award means and what it stands for and um, how it's only a select group of people and also you know I mean what it does for the African American community. I mean it just means a whole lot and uh, you know I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to try out for it and uh, obviously make it. So. Jelani Jenkins, University of Florida, Our Lady of Good Counsel in Only Maryland, a Watkins Award winner, great in the classroom, great on the field. Another good example for all the people watching this and uh, proud to have you here in South Florida. Uh, thanks for being here. All right.